Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Crazy Taxi 3. I'm CPC Gamer. And I'm CPC Sister the First. And in the interim, we were complaining about Scotland. Okay, um, it's time to make well, some Scotland though. itself. Here we go. Well, I like mine because it's more inflammatory. <laughs> well, yes, that's the point. I have to go live there. I'm going to be nice. I love Scotland. Tartan for the win. Would you like to tell that story about Tartan? Which one? There are so many. Uh, apparently you work with somebody who doesn't know what it is. Oh, no. That was my friend at Salsa. <laughs> we went to a Cayley, which is a traditional Scottish dance. Um, and I pointed out that I really love Tartan, because there are a lot of kilts going around. Um, and she said, well, what Tartan? How long have you been here? Oh, I lived in Scotland about five years. Okay! <laughs> How do you live in Scotland for five years and not know what Tartan is? If anyone, 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 anyone comments asking what Tartan is, I'm gonna go nuts. She probably will. She did it in a sassy black voice as well. <laughs> That's how you know she's serious. It was finger clicks and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then! <laughs> I sh on. Should I be a bit scared now? Yeah, probably. Is Kaylee the one that is spelt with a D? Or yeah. is that the Irish? It's C E I L I D H. Alright then. The not, the, not the way that you think that it is. Not any way you would ever think to spell it. No. no. So this one, this map is Glitter Oasis. And it's. I forget the word. It's, it's Las Vegas, but not called that. Fishnet. Because these are showgirls, you see. Mm hmm. Oh, there's a TV trope for it when it's not the thing, but it obviously is. <laughs> it's got an X in it. I don't remember. Pass. I don't. You're the writer. Yep. Yeah. No words, not TV stuff. All right then. Music. That was really quick. <laughs> Good link. The music for this one is done by Yuzo Koshiro who most famously did Streets of Rage, Ooh. 1 and 2. That's why I like it. The good ones. <laughs> and he is currently a DJ. And a lot of people go to his shows because on occasion he goes, do you know what, I'm just playing the baseball music from Streets of Rage 2. <laughs> and, and he just drops that into his set. Everyone should do that. It's one of the best nights out I had with work was when they went to the ironically stupid 90s night. <laughs> and the guy was like, yeah, now I'm going to play the theme tune to the Fresh Prince of Bella. And <laughs> if, yeah, right? Everybody knows that. Everybody sang along. It was great. And Yuzo Koshiro also makes or made games with his sister. Uh, between the two of them, they made Act Razor 1 and 2 on the Super Nintendo. And it's a bit sad, because if you look up Ayano Koshiro, it says, Did you mean Yuzo Koshiro? <laughs> no, I didn't. How rude. I meant his sister. <laughs> That's feminism. To be fair, I, I didn't know that until one of my friends said, Ayano Koshiro is that Koshiro family, so... <laughs> It's also good because it's, it's dance music that doesn't really go anywhere. There's no real lyrics or anything, it's just good dance It's all from uh, driving games, actually. He did a series of... There's at least three that he composed for. And it's the Wangan Midnight Maximum series. And it's just at least three CD sets of trance music like this. And they're all great. And I don't know, they just seem to fit with what's going on in Vegas right now. Lots of crashing into walls. There is also that. <laughs> I'm surprised you got back into the car for, <laughs> for this particular thing. It's fine, I'm wearing a helmet. We're just that reckless. <laughs> Always wear your seatbelt. That is a good plan. <laughs> I thought I was going to the wrong place here, that's why I decided to shoot across the beach. There is a drop in the middle of those 
deck chairs. What do you mean deck chairs? How British am I? <laughs> The number Sun lounges, I think. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's three basketballs I now have in the front seat as well. Never have too many Incidentally. In your taxi. I just get the image of him opening his taxi at the end of the <laughs> night. And all the balloons and the trumpets <laughs> and the basket all the stuff he's been given just falls out. He's like, oh yeah. This was a good day. Five thousand dollars and a trumpet. <laughs> what more could you ask for? <gasps> Lasers. That's a really easy drop. I forget what it's called, but you can sort of see it in the preview picture on the left. That it's got lasers in the sky, and you go, "Yeah, I'm gonna go there." You have bunnies in your taxi. I have bunny mascots in my ta Yeah. So each of the three maps has the same four or five pedestrians for single drops, and multiple drops has a variety. So you see we've got the basketball players and the showgirls, and in the last one we had the bodybuilders and uh, the hockey guys. And one of my inane hobbies <laughs> is coming up with backstories for my multiple <laughs> drops. Why would one guy want to go to the hospital and the next guy to the heliport? <laughs> Surely there has to be some sort of narrative to build here, right? What'd you come up with? I don't know. I, I didn't come up with anything for these two. Because what I did do... Because when I started bringing that up, I thought about another idea that I have had. I break way too early for Elephant Rock. <laughs> An idea that I have had, I want to see a series of villains that are named after musical styles. <laughs> I forget if I've mentioned this to you or to anyone watching, but I think it'd be like death metal would be one. Obviously you'd have Rocksteady and Bebop. <laughs> because references within references are fun. I think Grindcore would be a good one. Yes. Like that would be a horrible grungy looking robot. I like themed names when I come up with characters. That's how you can probably tell that something that I have done is made by me. Um, do the different colours mean different things? Yes, they do! It's the distance to your destination. So the red ones are usually within 200 metres. And it's basically down the street. <laughs> How'd you get a taxi down the street? Lazy. Lazy! I don't know! The idea being that... Oh, I overshot that one. The idea being that if you go for the bright green ones, they're really far away, so you earn more money in the interim. So like this one's a middle distance one, because it's yellow-green. It's kind of a cheat, because the, the multiple drops are all blue. That's how you can see them and differentiate them, I guess, but there's no indication of whether it's going to be all the way around the map or in a row or, or whatever. I think this guy may have gotten the wrong voice. That is not an old guy's voice. He's very excitable. <laughs> but isn't everybody in this world? Especially the car. The physics in this game are laughable at best. <laughs> I mean, you've, you've seen me on the, the bottom right there shifting between drive and reverse really quickly. Yeah. That's how to spin on the spot. Oh. For some reason, I don't know if it's a bug or if they meant to do it, but if you are turning while you change from like forward to backwards, it counts as a drift. Hmm. So it, yeah, it's possible to turn on the spot pretty much by just flapping the left and right triggers. I'm surprised I'm doing as well as I am in this one. I'm not very good with this. <laughs> Let's go for this lady. She's been waiting since we began. <laughs> she just can't get a taxi when you need one. I hope she hasn't noticed me speeding up and down the strip <laughs> going, oh, come on. Something that does, something that I do like, rather, is that the, the drops change depending on when you pick them up. She could have walked there by now. Probably. Especially with that long drift. Oh, 
Ooh, this is gonna be a fun one. Hi. Okay, do you see that searchlight in the background? Mm -hmm. That's where we're going. It's at the bottom of a canyon. Yeah, yeah, I know. And it's... It's one of the shortcuts that I learned, because in order to unlock every cabby for every area, which I have done... Oh, no! Oh. Yep! <laughs> you could have warned me! You have to jump off the edge of the canyon. And, and take advantage of the fact that nobody gets hurt in this game. <laughs> that was horrible, I may be traumatized. In order to get to... In order to get every cabbie for every area, you have to do a special run of each area. And visit every single stop. And for this one, it's done in a certain order, and there are certain shortcuts you have to take. And that's one of them. And... I don't know if it's a testament to how good I was at driving it, or how many times I had to try it. <laughs> I got good at landing it on the helipad, <laughs> after making that jump. Obviously not that time. Mm. That is the last time I do that. Okay, good to know. I don't think there are any more <laughs> crazy jumps like that in the rest of these videos. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I may come to regret this, guys. <laughs> Yeah, this is Axel, and he's sort of the main guy for the series. He's meant to be in the West Coast, the one we just did. I see that. In your car. I do. If it's any consolation, I was trying to hit them. <laughs> I, d I don't think I was trying to pick them up. Mm. That's my reaction to clowns. Run them over! Get them away from me. I read somewhere that technically it's not clowns, it's like Pennywise from Stephen King's It. But I'm pretty sure it's clowns. Pretty clowns. And it's one of those things that I can't place as to why. Like a lot of the stuff that scares me, I don't know why, <laughs> it just does. See? I always stop short when I get to Elephant Rock. It's I don't play this map very often. <laughs> oh, we just saw another unique pickup for this thing, the, a team of boxes. Also, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to have made the jump to make this this particular drop off. What? It just, it just jumped out of a moving car. What is this game teaching people? In fairness, it wasn't moving very quickly oh. because I was plowing into a wall. True. Would that have made a difference? <laughs> no. <laughs> it doesn't matter how fast you're going, they just jump out. Bit of a pro tip that I have found with playing Crazy Taxi since I was in high school. Whenever the drop-off time is the same as the clock time, you're not gonna make it. <laughs> That's usually when I go, oh. physics. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I boosted the audio on that, but Axel just went, oh, <laughs> as if we were making fun of him. Poor guy. Game over. Well, I'm going to say that's it for, for this episode of Crazy Taxi, because it is. <laughs> so join us next time for something else, and until next time, goodbye. Bye.